What is up guys? Live and Proof Fitness back with another video. Different kind of video than I normally post. I just figured, you know what? I'm going to post just like a little slideshow video, show you guys some pictures um, of the process that it took me from the past three years to kind of get to where I'm at and the kind of you know, real realistic way of looking at things, how your body really does transform because, you know, this shit does not happen overnight. I know how it is when you're skinny, man. It sucks, you know, especially when you're really trying to put on muscle. If you don't give a damn about being skinny, then, you know, then be happy with what you got. But when you're really trying to get some muscle, in the beginning, I was really, really thinking that, you know, after working out for like one month, you know, I was going to be seeing all kinds of crazy results and stuff. And it really, it does not work like that. So that being said, let me just get right into this thing and show you guys how it is. So the picture that you've been looking at right here, I was in Hawaii. Uh, definitely not a big motherfucker. You could see how flat and like a bird chest that I had right there. Uh, my arms, you know, trying to make them look big with my arms folded like that. Uh, but, you know, still looking pretty freaking pathetic, you know, not good, not gym. Uh, you know, gym worthy at that point, you know, fucking, it was just like, I basically just needed to figure what, out what the fuck I was going to be doing. And then right here is, uh, me in Vegas, man. Um, this was actually after that whole fucking Hawaii trip. And you can see right there too, uh, my arms look like fucking toothpicks, you know, and you can see how I used to be kind of thugging and stuff. I had my fucking baggier clothes, that baggy ass shirt. And you know, it also helped conceal all this, the skinniness of myself, man. I looked freaking pathetic. I was definitely not a threat. I looked like I can probably get knocked out with one punch. So moving on. Okay. So this picture right here was actually like right when I decided to start working out. This was back in 2013 in the summer of 2013. Um, June is when I started. So this must've been like May because this is like right when I was about to start working out and, uh, let's go to the next one here. Okay. This is like after one month of working out, this is in July of 2013. I started working out in June of 2013. So this is about a month of results. Now, obviously it doesn't really look like too much, but considering how I looked back in that other picture with my toothpick arms, you could see that I already was starting to put on a little bit of weight. I was just eating like a motherfucker, stuffing my fucking face, and working out five days a week. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next photo. All right, so this is January of 2014, so this is about six months in. Now, you could already tell that I have definitely put some weight on. Um... I'm starting to get some mass going on with my arms. My arms are no longer toothpick arms. They are definitely starting to grow. However, uh, still not crazy impressive or nothing. But um, considering it was only a six-month span, you know, that's uh, some pretty good results, if I must say so myself, in my humble opinion. All right, so let's go ahead and fast forward again. Okay, this picture right here was April of 2014. So this was like... Coming up on my uh, one year mark, definitely look a lot different from the day that I first started. You can see that I've definitely put on some size. The arms are starting to have some shape to them all the way from the shoulders into the triceps going down to the forearm. You can kind of see the difference and the gains that I have put on in this time span. And then all of a sudden we go, boom, here's the one year. Now, look how pathetic I looked on the left. That was fucking crazy. I do not even remember. Like, obviously, growing up skinny, I knew that I was a tiny motherfucker. I was skinny, but I didn't think that I was this bad. Like, look at my fucking chest. I had, like, no cut in the middle whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? No pecs. It was just flat. And the worst part about it, too, is I was a skinny guy that didn't have abs either. Had no six-pack. So, I don't know. I was just overall fucking up. In the picture on the, on the right, you know what I'm saying? That's after the one year of making some gains. And it is too much of a close-up. I should have got a better picture, but at the time, I was just like, fuck it. This one will work. Because um, it looks like the picture is like kind of stretched a little bit. But regardless, uh, you could definitely see how much uh, of a difference 
I made in that one year. So go ahead and fast forward again all the way to December of 2014. So coming upon the end of the year. So this is about what a year and six months of working out here. Um, definitely still getting fucking bigger, man. Abs are actually starting to show a little bit. Uh, the chest has a cut now right in the middle. You know, didn't have that before. You could see in the um, front of my shoulders, I got my fucking front delts coming in, uh, bicep action going on, uh, looking kind of vascular with some of the veins popping. Um, no more collarbone, uh, not nearly as bad, you know, has so much collarbone action going on and the, uh, the skinny ass picture. So to go ahead and jump forward again. And then we got the second year transformation pick. Um, that was a different picture from when I, uh, before I even started working out on the left, um, that was what, 2012, I believe. And then, um, right here was, um, 2015 decided to go ahead and cut up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get a little bit more defined. You can definitely tell. I mean, obviously it looks like I had some pretty good lighting in that, uh, that picture as well, but you cannot deny the fact that I definitely made some gains over those two years. Go ahead and jump a little bit more forward, and then there we go. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Obviously, I look pretty freaking huge in this picture right here. My tat was in the process of getting done, all traced on my arm there, flexing. Everything's just starting to pop, and I'm looking pretty fucking big. And then this was uh, shortly before the third year um, transformation which the 30 year transformation video is on this channel. Just go ahead and scroll through the videos if you feel like checking that out um, to see exactly where I was at when I hit three years. And let me just tell you this, guys. Fuck what everybody says that says all this bullshit about the things that you have to take supplement wise, um, taking steroids. Any kind of fucking way that, you know, saying that you'll get gains like within fucking like 10 pounds of muscle in a month, all that shit is nonsense. And this is the biggest thing. You have got to stop thinking, if you have this kind of mentality, stop thinking that you're going to make all these gains in a very short period of time. Because as you can see from the pictures, it took me three freaking years to get where I'm at and I'm still not some fucking cock diesel motherfucker. And another reason why I'm not some cock diesel motherfucker I don't take steroids and I don't really take any supplements. Um, I have taken quite a few supplements throughout the whole three year time span, but nothing that I chose to pick did I ever really stay on for too long, except um, creatine. I have always been taking creatine. There's been some months where I've kind of fell off and just stopped taking it. Um, didn't go as hard in the gym. Um, but other than that, Creatine has always been a number one supplement that I have always taken. Another supplement that I have always taken is um, protein. And uh, you don't need to go get the expensive kind of protein either. Just go get like the gold standard protein. Get it from fucking GNC. Uh, order it online. Amazon. Whatever you got to do. It's inexpensive and the shit works. It's just a good protein that has limited calories. So you know what I'm saying? You're not fucking like limited fats carbs, all that stuff. So you're not getting all this excess bullshit while you're taking it because you don't want to get too fucking fat while you're trying to uh, gain weight and build muscle either. Pre-workouts, um, I cycle off of pre-workouts. So um, those are the three different ones that I take. Um, pre-workout creatine and protein. And uh, definitely make sure that you cycle off of your pre-workouts because you don't want to start fucking up your hormones and shit. You don't want to fucking have your... Uh, central nervous system get all burnt out from constantly taking um, your pre-workout, burning yourself out in the gym, and then getting immune to it to where you have to start taking more and more of the pre-workout. Definitely not good for you. Um, you'll start seeing your blood pressure begin to increase over time. Um, that's exactly what happened with me from constantly taking it too much and not really cycling off. But other than those three supplements, that's all that I've taken. And everything else is BS. Do not go waste your money on extra stuff because I'm telling you, I know. You saw how I was, man. I'm not fucking lying to you. I was skinny. I'm now finally in shape. Still not crazy buff, but 
considerably buff, considerably good looking with the muscles because they starting to pop. I'm finally not the smallest guy in the gym. So all supplements aside, the number one thing that you got to do is make sure that you're eating your food. I've made videos on this as well. Go check those ones out at a caloric surplus. I'm not going to get all into detail about it because you can just go check out the other video where I just get into detail about it and explain it. Put yourself at a caloric surplus. Just eat your food. Make sure that you're getting the calories that you need to build muscle. Take your creatine. Take your protein if you need it, if you're not hitting your protein marks. Um, take your pre-workout if you need that boost in the gym so you can start getting some more reps in that ultimately will lead to you building more muscle. Make sure that you get your rest because rest is very important. You are not actually growing in the gym. You're growing outside of the gym when you are resting. So don't get that twisted either. Working out seven days a week is not going to get you as far ahead as you think it's going to. If anything, it's going to put you behind because you have got to recover in order to grow. Make sure that you get your sleep at least six hours. Put your time in in the gym. Don't be bullshitting. At least, I'd say at least three days a week. I mean, I've never gone less than that. And I don't think anybody should. If you're you're serious about making your gains and you really do want to make a physical change in the way that you look for the better, then you got to make sure that you're putting in the work. And one day a week or two days a week to me is just nonsense. You need to make sure that you get in there more than that. At least three days a week. When I started, I was doing five to six days a week. Now I'm always doing five to six days a week. Um, I never go anything less than that. But anyways, this video is starting to drag out to be pretty long. I didn't mean to uh, ramble on for so long. Ramble, is that, is, that, is that a word? Ramble? Ramble on? I don't know. Anyways, uh, I don't want to keep dragging this on, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. Uh, if you guys have any questions, be sure to drop it in the comments below. I'll try to answer any questions that get tossed my way because I am a very small channel right now. Don't really get very many questions, um, but I do always respond and I do always give positive feedback. Um, so go ahead, drop it in the comments, send me a message, uh, however you want to do it. Y'all take it easy. Be sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see y'all in the next video. And I'm making gains, bro. Are you?